Hey guys, Sarah Hunt, Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant, and it's June, it's the month of the bride. And I'm gonna be doing a romantic look, and um, anytime you're doing wedding makeup, even if you wanna keep it really soft and really pretty, you you really wanna add more color, and you want, to, you want it to be a little bit more intense than you would on a normal day, even if you're looking for a very soft romantic look, because when you take pictures, when you're walking down the aisle, you're gonna kind of start looking pale and washed out after a little while. So when you're a bride, you really wanna make sure that your face and your skin look completely flawless. So I suggest starting several weeks ahead of time if you're not already on a really good skincare routine, really start morning and night washing your face and taking care of everything so that your face is so beautiful and glowy and it matches the inside of you and it matches your dress. You wanna make sure you're wearing the most beautiful, most fancy dress that you've ever put on in your life. It's the dress of your dreams and you really want your makeup to match that. So, so we're gonna start with our highlighting pen. The highlighting pen is gonna make your face look, give it that really glowy look that every bride has and wants. And so you just twist the bottom of it right there and the product comes out the top. And so you wanna go down the center of your nose. I know y'all seen this on another tutorial, but this is my bride look, so I want you to know exactly what I would do for you if you're on my bride. You wanna get this up under your eyes, right above your eyebrows. Just highlight these areas. This is the Mary Kay highlighting pen, and it has light reflecting pigments in it. And so it's gonna catch the light. It's like tiny mirrors in the product. It's gonna catch the light and brighten. Oh, I have my concealer on already too. So if you have bags under your eyes, you wanna put concealer on first, and then do this afterwards, because this is gonna brighten. A concealer will hide your dark spots, and this will just brighten and make you look all fresh and glowy. Okay, so I've got all of my highlighting done. You can see it goes straight down on my chin right here, up under my eyes. And that really is gonna make your makeup look really, really pretty, and you're gonna look really fresh throughout the entire day. Now I'll be using my Mary Kay Translucent Powder. It's the balm, it cuts down on the shine throughout the day. And so even if you have dry skin, um, you know if you get rushed and you get a little nervous or you know you might get a little shiny throughout the day this is going to help and now that i've got that on of course i'm going to do my contouring with my bronzer i'm going to take the light to medium bronzer and just apply that just kind of shape out my cheeks a little bit with that and go up here and on your jawline just gives you a little bit more of a defined jawline. And if you wanna take that all the way down your neck, you can. All right, now a bride has to have killer eyebrows too. You cannot have full makeup and not have killer eyebrows. Like it's it's just forbidden. It is the cardinal sin in makeup. So you gotta clean out your eyebrows, get that concealer out of there or your foundation out of there. So you wanna brush them the opposite way that they grow and then just smooth them back out. And I've already plucked mine. You'll want to have yours plucked before the big day, of course. And now I usually use a um, my smudger brush. I know y'all seen me do that a lot, and some eyeshadow. But I'm using the. I thought I'd start using this again and just see what I thought about it. And then you just want to smooth that out just ever so slightly, or you can use this side to smooth it out. Yeah, I think that looks better. And then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and put my primer on them before I do my eyeshadow. So curl it, hold it for 10 seconds, and then you're just going to crimp it out to the ends. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply Pale Blush. I don't know if you can see that color very good. It's really pretty. It's a really, um, really soft pink color, and it is the cream to powder eye colors, and it's perfect for a romantic wedding look. So I'm going to put that all over my bottom lid. This is really creamy. It sets and it turns into a powder and it also has a primer in it. And so it's gonna stay on all day long. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna make anything that we put over it just pop and look gorgeous as well. I'm gonna use my finger just to dab that a little bit. Next, I'm gonna take my accent brush and I'm gonna use Chocolate Kiss for my color and I'm gonna do it right here and up into the crease. This is gonna, when you do the sideways piece sign, you really make your eyes look larger. And you wanna put kind of a curve on it. Right there, you want it to kind of curve just a little bit in, like that half rainbow shape because I'm not going all the way in with it. 
thickening just a little bit more right up here. Using our cream to powder eye colors, any of the nine different shades, and so using any of those for pageants or weddings or if you're the bridesmaid, um, whatever you're doing, it's gonna be an all day event. Use some cream eyeshadow. And even if you're gonna put the regular mineral eyeshadow over it, because I'm using the Chocolate Kiss right here. Yourself, they stay on just fine, but if you're gonna, if you really want like an all day fresh look, put some cream eye color on there with them. I'm getting my eye primer on now. I should have done that right when I curled my lashes to make the curl last a little bit better, but I forgot. I got distracted. Now, anytime I'm doing brides or pageant makeup or anything like that, I, I think that false eyelashes are a really good choice because they really open up your eyes and they make you look a little bit more fancy. And it's your wedding day. You want to look fancy. Even if you're being romantic, you can get like the little strips that just are on the outer corner just to kind of open up your eyes a little bit more. All right, I think that my lashes have dried enough for me to go ahead and do my eyeliner. So I'm going to start in the middle and just kind of work my way in. Now, I always suggest a thicker line when you're being, when you're dressing up and really going out with your, really going all out with your makeup. You really want, and I definitely think that you should line the bottom of your eyes if you want to. If you are somebody that's going to crab through the whole wedding, you might want to skip that. Um, our eyeliners have a really good staying power, so. That is a personal choice. I'm gonna line, my eyes are large, so I'm gonna line the inside bottom of my. Now I'm gonna go back with my rounded brush and I'm gonna get some crystalline and I'm gonna tap it right here in the corners and that is just gonna brighten everything up and put it right up under here. Next, I will do my mascara, and I'll do a tutorial with um, false eyelashes, but we're not doing false eyelashes today. I'm using Lash Love. You can get Lash Love and Waterproof, and that'll keep your eyes nice, and that'll keep your mascara in place all day, so. All right, now on your wedding day, don't skip the blush. Like, just don't do it. You wanna be that blushing bride? This is strawberry cream right here. It's got a pink, it's a pink color with a little bit of shimmer, but it's really light. It's very beautiful. Just tap it on our cheeks. Now, if you don't like pink, we have Shy Blush and it's kind of a peachy bronzy color. And it's real light too. So that's a great option for you. These have just a little bit of shimmer in it, so it's gonna give you that really pretty glowy look. Apple of your cheeks, right up under your eyes, and then just blend it back. Okay, so the next thing is gonna be our lips. So if you want your lipstick to stay on a lot longer, you can do some concealer first. And then you're gonna put some powder over that to set it. I'm using translucent, but I would prefer a pressed powder. So that gives you really nice matte lips for your lip liner and your lipstick. We're going to use neutral lip liner. Now, if you fill your lips in with lip liner, that'll make your lipstick stay on a lot longer, but we've got the um, concealer and powder on there, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. I think it will be just fine like that. Okay, so we're going to be using Posh Pink from our True Dimensions collection, and if you have this lipstick, you press down, or if you don't have it and you've been molding it, this is how it works. You press down on that little top right there, it goes all the way in, it pops out the bottom, and you pull it out, and you twist it up. Isn't that a pretty color? I don't think it shows up very well on there. It's beautiful. It's a sheer color. So it's not as bright going on as I guess as it looks in the tube. I think it's the, the perfect color for the romantic bride if you want a really soft look. And I think it's fabulous. Now if you really want it to stay on even longer, you can take your finger. And I know you've seen this in my other videos. 
but you can take your the same we'll take the same color blush that we used it's pretty close to this lipstick color and just press it on top you don't want to rub it because that's gonna make a mess you just want to press it on top of your lip color it's almost like putting a powder over your foundation that will make it more matte and it will make it stay in place a lot longer and of course you want to keep your lipstick and your lip liner handy <laughs> of course that's the first thing that's gonna go after you say I do um, I will post below in the description box what colors that I used but the thing to know to keep in mind about your bridal look is really do the prep work really take care of your skin if you've not been doing a morning and night routine really get you a good morning and night routine and um, we have the best products for that because we're number one in the nation what I know and you're a bride and you want the best um, and then just Pick out your dress and then decide what kind of look that you want. What is your wedding? What is the venue? Where is the setting? Is What time of day is it? You really want to consider those things when you think about your makeup. If you're doing an evening wedding, you really need to do a lot of makeup because it's going to be darker and you really want, you want to stand out. You're the star of the show. You really want your makeup to match your venue, your dress. Um, so that's my look. But just remember that true beauty comes from God first and it comes from within. And um, if you're somebody that's getting married, I wish you all the best.